ask him for that sent word to you. Le kova li brazua li kono homono seli kibahadi salahatu sinda kabosh kiranta hasula habro. Le koma labo. Open your mouth. Ask him for it. Ask him for that sent word. He says he he who asks receiveth. La kibarua mele kolo salavu suku brande bolo shaha. In Jesus' mighty name. Father, we ask for your sent word tonight in the name of Jesus. Spirit of the living God, breathe upon us, O Lord, by the power of God's word in the name of Jesus. Heavenly Father, I am your vessel and I ask that you use me, O Lord, to bring us revelation, to bring us deliverance this morning, to bring us insight and liberty in the name of Jesus Christ we have prayed. Amen. Somebody put your hands together for Jesus and you may be seated in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Hallelujah. Brother Stephen, please stay on the keyboard. Hallelujah. I want to give honor to God for this privilege to be his vessel to bring us his word tonight. Hallelujah. Heavenly Father, I say I give you all the glory and all the praise. I also want to salute my father and my mama in the Lord, Pastor Isaac and Pastor Ibuku. Thank you, Ma. Thank you, sir. Daddy, wherever you are, we love you. We miss you. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you for giving me this privilege. Tonight, the message that God gave me to bring to us is the power of intimacy with God. The power of intimacy with God. And God, we know, is a relational God. God desires intimacy. God desires that we come to him. God desires that every time he is in fellowship with us. And our relationship with God, our Heavenly Father, is spiritual. And it is not physical. We need to establish that. Because God is spirit. Hallelujah. And we cannot go unto him. We cannot relate with him by our flesh, by the physical means. But only by our spirit. And the level of our intimacy with God determines our accessibility to his power. Hallelujah. The level of our intimacy with God, that is what determines our accessibility to his power. God is our father by his power and his authority is made available unto us through intimacy. Through intimacy. And for instance, I could just share with you. It is because of the relationship I have with our, our presiding pastor. That is why I can stand here in his stead. Hallelujah. He wouldn't just see me in a split second on the street and say, come and stand here tonight. Hallelujah. It takes a process. Hallelujah. And God is also same. He desires us to come to him, to have intimacy with him. Praise God. Those that have intimacy with God are receive the secrets of God, receive the power of God. Just as Jesus said in the book of John chapter 10 verse 30, he said, I and my father are one. It is through intimacy that he and the Father are one. So for us to receive the power that Jesus demonstrated on the face of the earth, we need to come into a place of oneness with God. And it is only on the platform of intimacy. Hallelujah. The book of Daniel chapter 11 verse 32 says that those who do wickedly against the covenant, he shall corrupt with flattery. But he says, but the people who know their God shall be strong and carry out great exploits. The great exploit and that strong does not come if you do not know God. Hallelujah. On a personal basis. When we congregate this way, there is a blessing that God releases. But there is another dimension where it is you and God alone. It is something that you ought to do intentionally. That God, this is the time I have set aside to be with you. And in that place and in that closet of intimacy, there is a power that God releases. God pours himself into you that you may exercise and be a representative of his power and authority. The Bible says that the people, Moses had to know God for God to reveal his ways unto him. Psalms 103 verse 7, the Bible says that he made known his ways to Moses, his acts to the children of Israel. All they saw was the power, the signs, the wonders. But the ways of God came unto Moses because Moses had what? An intimate time with God. The time that Moses spent on the mountain of Sinai was an intimate time. That is how God, he's the only man that God passed by him and exposed himself to him for him to know. He's the only person who can describe to us the shoes of God and the nature of God. Hallelujah. Because the children of Israel were not 
not in that place of intimacy. Moses was at that place of intimacy. And when we look at Abraham, intimacy with God gave him access to the mind and the plans of God for generations after him. Because God said in, Jer in Genesis 18, 17, he says, And the Lord said, Shall I hide from Abraham what I am doing? Hallelujah. It takes a man who has intimacy with God for God to reveal the future unto him. Hallelujah. And when God reveals the future unto you, it is power and it's advantage that you have over every works of darkness. And because Abraham... God held him in that place of esteem, not because of his righteousness, but because he was a man who desired what? Intimacy with God. Hallelujah. John chapter 4 verse 24, it says that God is spirit and those who worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. Hallelujah. Not in the physical. You have to go to God in the spirit. With our spirit, we receive from God. Hallelujah. As we go forth, we will encounter revelations. For a child of God to access the power of God, it must be based on our close personal relationship with God. And this relationship, it must be fueled by our love for him, our unquenchable love, our trust, our hope, our faith and reverence, and in addition, our obedience to him. Hallelujah. The blessings of God, it originates from the spiritual realm, and we can only receive them first by our spirit. We receive the blessings of God by our spirit man. Then we see them made manifest in the flesh. And to receive from God in the spirit, you need to go to him in intimacy in the realm of the spirit. John chapter 3, 27. John speaking, John said, A man can receive nothing unless it has been given to him from heaven. Hallelujah. And we also saw... John the Apostle on the island of Patmos. The Bible says in Revelation chapter 1, 11, 10 to 11, it says, he said, I was in the spirit on the Lord's day. Hallelujah. And I heard behind me a loud voice as a trumpet saying, I am the Alpha and the Omega, the first and the last. And what you see, write in a book and send it to the seven churches which are in Asia. Hallelujah. John couldn't have received the revelation of Christ if he was in the flesh, if he was not at a place of intimacy in the realm of the spirit with God. Hallelujah. Because the Bible says that he said, I was in the spirit. So as children of God, we must not disengage from our intimacy in the spirit with God. Every moment, every time of our life on this face of the earth, we must ensure that we are at that place of intimacy. We must not allow any situation situation or any circumstance to disengage us from that intimacy with God. Hallelujah, somebody. If you are being blessed, shout amen. amen. The apostles were able to receive spiritual things when they spent time with God in worship, in prayer, and in the study of the word. When you have that personal intimacy with God, it is a time of fellowship. Either in the word, it is a time of fellowship in praises, in worship. Hallelujah. Because God is coming to commune with you. Hallelujah. And we saw an example that came unto Peter. Peter had a contention when you read that scripture and that scenario. At that time in the church, the church was in a contention as to whether the gospel of Jesus Christ must go to the Gentiles. And this is something that Peter was battling with. But God liberated him from that contention when he went into a time of intimacy. When you read that, because of time, I'm not going to go into it. The Bible says that Peter went up onto the roof to do what? To have a time of fellowship with God. And it was at that place that God revealed to him and God said, eat of these animals. And he said, they are unclean. And God said, I have made them clean. You cannot say they are unclean. At that very moment in the realm of the spirit, God was also communing with Cornelius to send men unto Peter that he might come. So when Peter came down from the rooftop, the men were already waiting for him. And when you read that scenario, when Peter went to the house of Cornelius, it was the move of God that they have never experienced before. The Bible says that as Peter was preaching the word to them, they began to speak in the Holy Ghost. They began to receive the baptism of the Holy Ghost. That is why intimacy with God 
brings his power into every situation in the name of Jesus. And tonight, in the name of Jesus, that power will come into any situation you are contending with in Jesus' mighty name. And also in Acts 13, 2, the Bible says that as the apostles, they ministered to the Lord in fasting. And during that time, they were also praying. They were also worshiping. The Bible says that the Holy Spirit said, now separate to me, Barnabas and Saul for the work to which I have called them. There are instances in your life that you cannot find a clear way. There are situations in your life that you cannot decipher. I bring you a word from the Lord tonight that go into that realm of intimacy with God because there you will find the solution. There the answer is because God will come to commune with you and God will give you a way out of that situation. Hallelujah. There are important spiritual keys for effective intimacy with God or with the Holy Spirit. I'm going to use it interchangeably. First of all, worship and reverence for God. Hallelujah. And our true worship and praise as sacrifice invokes the presence of God. God answers prayer. The other day I was sharing with my directory. I said, when you pray, there are times that God can send an angel, just as he did for Daniel, to bring the answer. There are times he will give you the answer. But there is a realm that when you enter, he comes himself. Hallelujah. And that realm is the realm of worship and praise in intimacy with God. Because the Bible says in Psalms 23, 22 verse 3 says, But you are holy, enthroned in the praises of Israel. Hallelujah. Tonight I present to you that God is holy. And he is enthroned in your worship and in your praises. He comes himself. That is what God desires. So anyone that goes into intimacy with God in a time of worship and fellowship, prayer and studying of the word, God is certainly going to come to you. Hallelujah. I said God will certainly come to you because it rises up as an aroma to him. And God cannot resist that praise and that worship. He must come down. Hallelujah. And instance over instance, God has shown up mightily in that way. The second thing we need to take recognition of is that for us to experience the power of God through intimacy, we must become addicted to his presence. Hallelujah. We have to be addicted just as a junkie or a drug addict who always do everything, craving to have that drug that will keep him high. The same way as spiritual beings, we must be addicted to the presence of God as never before. Every moment of our life, if we notice that we are not experiencing his presence, we ought to divert, we ought to switch into the realm of the spirit because in his presence there is fullness of joy hallelujah and in his presence he comes in his embodiment he comes in his full glory to encompass us hallelujah psalm 63 verse 1 to 2 he says oh god you are my god early will i seek you this was david and when we look at the life of david he, he exemplified this he always desired the presence of god so he understood it he said oh god you are my god early will Will I seek you? My soul tests for you. My flesh longs for you in the in a dry and thirsty land where there is no water. You so I have looked for you in the sanctuary to see your power and glory. Hallelujah. To see your power and glory. We desire the power and glory of God in these times and in this season. We must go into the place of intimacy. We must go individually. It is not a corporate thing. It's not a congregational thing. We must go into that place. As our father said on Sunday, it has to be intentional. We must go to that place where it is you and God alone. You must go to that place where you say, Father, I have come again. This is the time I want to commune with you. Not else but you. I desire you. I want to encounter you. Come upon me afresh. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. When we look at the life of Jesus Christ, Jesus exemplified this. Jesus came on the scene and for John the Baptist to announce him to the world. Hallelujah. If it were somebody, he would say, ah, have you heard? God himself spoke. He said, this is my beloved son. Ah, I, it is sealed. And he will begin to walk. Yes, I am the beloved son of God. And he will begin to go forth. But the Bible says that what? He went into a place of solitary. 
when he went, it is not that he just went fasting 40 days and 40 nights. He went into a place where he and the Father will commune and become one. Hallelujah. And in those 40 days of prayer and fasting, he was waiting on God. He was just in the presence of God so that God will endue him with power. God has spoken. The heavens open. He has spoken. But Jesus knew that I need to go into the place of commune, a place of solitary engagement with God. Hallelujah. We have come out of battle where God spoke mightily and marvelously. God spoke in sync with every word of God that a servant of God said. But now as we have received that word, we must act like Jesus going into the place where we are saying, Father, I heard you speak. Now let it be made manifest in my life. Hallelujah. And as you go on, you notice that the story of Jesus, it began to unfold after he came out of that place of intimacy with God. And when we look at John chapter 4, 35, when you look at that scripture, Jesus now confronts an evil spirit. He rebukes them and they go out of them. And the people are wild, hallelujah, because he has encountered the power of God through intimacy. In Luke chapter 4, verse 39, he goes into Peter's house and Peter's mother-in-law is afflicted with a fever. He speaks to the situation and it complies in the name of Jesus. Tonight, I bring you the word of God that as you tarry in that place, place of personal intimacy with God. When you come out, there is no situation that will stand before you in the name of Jesus. Every situation that has prevailed until now will give way to the glory of God. Hallelujah. It goes forth. You see that in that, re re that scripture, Jesus encounters the leper. He heals him. Hallelujah. You notice that as he came out of that place of intimacy, his ministry began to unfold. That word you had at battle, for it to begin to unfold, you need to go into the chamber of intimacy with God. Hallelujah. Then Jesus meets the widow of nine and he raises that son who was dead. In the name of Jesus, as you are entering into that realm of intimacy, intentional intimacy with God, anything dead around you will come alive in the name of Jesus. Anything dead around you, any dryness situation around you will receive life in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise God. When we look at Luke chapter 5 verse 16, it says, So he himself often withdrew into the wilderness. Hallelujah. Mark chapter 1 verse 35, it says, Now in the morning, having risen a long while before daylight, he went out and departed to a solitary place. There he prayed. Hallelujah. Because we need the Holy Spirit, it is that chamber of intimacy where we encounter the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. It is in that chamber of intimacy because God in, in intimacy does not want to share us with anyone. Hallelujah. God wants to have us for himself, that he may empty himself into us, that we may walk as an embodiment of his power on the face of the earth. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So we need to engage the Holy Spirit as never before because the Holy Spirit is the helper God had given us. So we need him daily, every moment of our lives to be in intimacy with God. John 15, 26, the Bible says that but when the helper comes, whom I shall send to you from the Father, the Spirit of truth, who proceeds from the Father, he will testify of me. Praise God. And John 14, 26, the Bible is saying that by the helper, that is the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, he will teach you all things and bring to your remembrance all things that I said to you. Hallelujah. Our prophetic focus for this month is taking us to the place where we would desire the presence of God, the Holy Spirit as never before. It says that he who test, let him come and drink. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He says that as you come into that place, that realm of intimacy, out of you shall flow rivers of living water. What does that mean? It means life will bubble out of you. Wherever you appear, life will manifest in the name of Jesus. Every situation around you will conform and comply with the divinity of God in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Somebody shout amen. amen. Isaiah chapter 40 verse 29 to 15. Hallelujah. The Bible says that he gives power to the weak. And to those who have no might, he increases strength. Even the youth shall faint and be weary. And the young men shall utterly fall. But those who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. Hallelujah. 
those who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Hallelujah. My brother, my sister, we are entering into that realm where we walk spiritually and physically and we do not faint. Hallelujah. We are entering into that realm where our strength is renewed spiritually and physically in the name of Jesus. There will be no weakness in any aspect of your body. Whatever has afflicted you physically, as you wait on the Lord, you are coming into the realm of power because when the glory of God envelops you, what is it that is called sickness? What is it that is called disease? What is it that is called infirmity? It will drop off you because in the presence of God, infirmity cannot exist. In the presence of God, stagnation cannot exist. In the presence of God, weakness cannot exist. It is only strength, hallelujah. It is only strength, hallelujah. It is only empowerment, hallelujah. It is only empowerment, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The benefits of intimacy with God or with the Holy Spirit. One, you receive power over every form of weakness, spiritually and physically. 2 Corinthians chapter 12, 8 to 10, he says, And he said to me, my grace is sufficient for you. My strength is made perfect in weakness. Luke 22, 45 to 46, he says, When he rose up from prayer, and had come to his disciples, he found them sleeping from sorrow. Hallelujah. These disciples were sleeping from sorrow. Sorrow wearied them to the extent that they were sleeping. I'm going somewhere. And when Jesus came from the place of prayer, place of intimacy with God, so that he might receive power to finish the assignment of going to the cross. When he came, these disciples, they were wearied by sorrow. Hallelujah. And we know that Jesus told them that, can't you tarry a little while? Can't you stay in prayer a little while? Can't you stay in intimacy with God a little while? Hallelujah. But these same disciples who were weakened by sorrow and that they fell asleep spiritually. But when they had that encounter of intimacy with the Holy Spirit, they received power and they become bold witnesses. Hallelujah. Tonight, somebody is becoming bold as never before. Tonight, somebody is receiving strength as never before. The Bible says in Acts 2, 36, it says, Therefore, let all the house of Israel know assuredly. These were the same disciples that when the scribes and the army appeared in the Garden of Gethsemane, they scattered to every side. Hallelujah. They were nowhere to be found. But when the power of God came upon them through the medium of intimacy with God, they stood before these same scribes and these same Pharisees and they told them, Therefore, let all the house of Israel know assuredly that God has made Jesus, whom you crucified, both Lord and Christ. Hallelujah. Before they couldn't stand, they were shaking in their bones. Their knees couldn't hold them. But when the power of God came upon them, after the upper room experience of intimacy with God, and they were endued with power, they stood in Jerusalem on the high places and in the low places. They went into the temple where they were forbidden, and they, were begin they began to declare, boldly that Jesus is Lord. Hallelujah. Tonight as you endured with power you will declare to that situation that boldly that Jesus is Lord. You will declare to that situation Jesus is Lord. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus I declare that I receive power by the Holy Spirit to overcome and prevail over any form of spiritual or physical weakness. The next benefit you get is you get renewed strength. Hallelujah. Psalms 18, 29 to 32. David declaring, he says, For by you I can run troops. I can run against a troop. Hallelujah. By my God I can leap over a wall. Praise God. As for God, his way is perfect. The word of the Lord is proven. He is a shield to all who trust in him. For who is God except the Lord? And who is a rock except our God? 
It is God who arms me with strength and makes my way perfect. Hallelujah. We are coming into the realm of perfection. I said we are coming into the realm of perfection because God is enduing us with power. Psalm 103 verse 5 says, Who satisfy your mouth with good things so that your youth is renewed like the eagle. Hallelujah. Somebody's youth is being renewed as the eagle. Somebody's youth is being renewed as the eagle. Hallelujah. The other day, the Holy Spirit drew my attention to something. Every time I take care of my patients, they will ask me, how old are you? And I will laugh <laughs> because I know they knew the answer before asking me. And I also throw it back to them, how old do you think I am? And some will say, you are in your 20s. And I'll say, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And, and what, so at times, some of them will go further and they will ask me. After I've told them my age, they'll say, what is the secret? And the Holy Spirit revealed to me that the secret has been that you have spent your time with God. Time with God brings renewal of strength, renewal of youth. Hallelujah. That is why our daddy keeps saying that when he's 100 and over, he will still be as he is. Hallelujah. So for us too, our strength is renewed. It is not the number of years that determine your strength, but it is the time you spend in the presence of God that determines the strength that accompanies your youth. Hallelujah. And your age. Praise God. The next thing I want us to see is that it brings peace in the midst of storms. Peace in the midst of storms. Isaiah 26 verse 3. It says you will keep him in peace, in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on you because he trusts in you. Hallelujah. And let's come into the realm where we engage God intentionally on a personal basis because that is where the Power for the Christian work, that is where it comes from. We are entering or we have entered into what? The last days. And it is that strength that can make us to stand as believers in the face of adversity, in the face of challenges to our Christian belief. It is that strength we receive from that place of tiring or waiting on God. The next thing is good health and wealth. Kingdom wealth is established in our lives by our intimate relationship with God. Second Chronicles 26, 5, the Bible says, He sought God in the days of Zechariah, who had understanding in the visions of God. And as long as he sought the Lord, God made him prosperous. As long as he sought the Lord, God made him prosperous. If you are hearing me here or you are online, you desire to be prosperous in health. You desire to be prosperous in your career. You desire to be prosperous in the market field of business. Seek the Lord. That is how prosperity comes. Hallelujah. Amen. Isaiah 58, 11 says, The Lord will guide you continually and satisfy your soul in drought and strengthen your bones. You shall be like a watered garden and like a spring of water whose water do not fail. Hallelujah. That is the life that God is giving us. Hallelujah. In conclusion, we need to understand that we must transition to the place of personal experience with God through intimacy. We must. It is a must. It is a necessity. Hallelujah. It is a necessity. If we want to triumph, we want to soar where the eagle saw. Hallelujah. We need to be in the place of intimacy with God. Hallelujah. That is where when we enter into the business field and life begins to speak, we will be able to speak back to the situations of life that I come in the name of the Most High God who has endued me with power because I have stayed with him in the place of worship and intimacy intimacy. Hallelujah. We need to stop at the theoretical knowledge of God, but move into the realm of personal spiritual encounter with him. Job said in Job 4, 42, 5, he said, I have heard of you by the hearing of the ear, but now my eyes see you. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, somebody rise up to your feet. We have come into the realm, hallelujah, where we need to desire God as never before. We have come into the realm where God wants to take us to another level that we have experienced as never before. Moses encountered God by the burning bush, hallelujah, and he went into Egypt with power, but when God was taking him to lead the children of Israel, Israel. 
God took him to the place. God said, come up to the mountain. And when he went up to the mountain in a place of intimacy, God said, I will show you who I am. And the Bible says that for a split moment, the glory, the full glory of God passed before Moses. And Moses was in awe and he saw the back of God. So somebody tonight, I want you to lift up your voice and lift up your spirit, begin to cry out unto the Lord. The Father, take me to the place of intimacy with you. Heavenly Father, tonight in the name of Jesus, we are asking the Father grace and grace us. We ask for grace to come into the realm of intentional intimacy with you, to come into the realm of intentional relationship, a realm where we will not leave your presence, a realm where we will desire to be in your presence always and at every moment in the days of our lives, in the works of our fields, oh Lord, we will be in your presence. Limrikin Dolobo, Rabakusi Kabari Alosa, Lele, Lunumunuku Sabrande. Our spirit man, O oh Lord, is desiring your God. We are desiring you, Heavenly Father, at another level. You have said we should ask, O oh Lord, and you will give unto us. We are asking. We want to encounter you in another dimension. We want to encounter your full glory personally and as a congregation. Take us, O oh Lord, into that realm by your Holy Spirit. Reke Zondaria. Somebody open up, pray in the Holy Ghost. Lay there, Nunimini, Meshe Bala Bolo Bolo Bolo, Manda Brakodo Baria, for the true worshiper shall worship him in spirit and in truth. Randa Iku, Mininia, Sarabo. Mako Barakataya Sidia Neko Pa Shiakada. He's a loving father and he will not deny us his presence. Somebody desire, 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 desire the presence. Ah, Maka Dobo as a deer panted for water. So my soul panted after you, O God. Remata Ikodie Zilibo Sokota Braya Randa Kuliminiminia Romande Neshatabayaba Father strip of us. Anything, O oh Lord, that will be an hindrance, O oh Lord, to encountering you, O oh Lord. Father, strip us of them in the name of Jesus. Attitudes, O oh Lord, ways of life that Father will deny us of your presence, that it be stripped of us. Rakido Shabalia, Lodemininini Sutaye, Ikobayanda Yabarua, Ramanda Labolomo, Shikabados, Ibarra Bolobole, Celebrebos. In your presence there is fullness of joy. We desire your presence, Father. Your presence, as Moses said, accept your presence, go with us, we will not go. Father, it is your presence that we desire as a church. It is your presence. We know when your presence goes before us, the mountains leap before us, the rivers split before us. Father, your presence, your presence, your presence, your presence, your presence is what we desire. Le Kiria, Zanda Aku Tayamonashi. Father, we don't want to lose your presence. We don't want to lose your presence. We don't want to lose your presence. Holy Spirit, help us that we we'll cultivate the presence of God as never before. Holy Spirit, bring us into that realm where we'll tarry and wait on the Lord, where we'll be in fellowship with God continually, that His full glory will be revealed unto us as individuals and as a church. Le endeko mina hanu zanda kubradia reko balia zalakusha ikaba to sadabarua. We hunger, O oh Lord, and test for you. Your children hunger and test for you, oh Heavenly Father. We hunger and test for you. We hunger and test for you. Quench our test for you. Quench our test for you. Fill us afresh. Fill us afresh. Fill us afresh. Fill us afresh. In Jesus' mighty name, hallelujah. Praise the Lord. If you are watching online or you are in this sanctuary now, 
to encounter the presence of God, you need an encounter with Jesus. You need to come into the kingdom of God that God will reveal himself to you. When you are at the door, God cannot reveal himself to you. You must come into his presence. And one way and the way of coming into the presence and be part of his kingdom is giving your life to Christ Jesus. And if you are watching online you are in, you are, or you are in the sanctuary and you want to accept Jesus as your Lord and personal Savior, I want you to say this prayer with me. Say after me, Dear Jesus, I know that I am a sinner. Today I ask for your forgiveness. I know you died for my sins on the cross of Calvary and rose from the dead on the third day. I repent from my sins and I invite you to come into my heart and life. I will follow and serve you as my Lord and Savior all the days of my life. Amen. Church, let's put our hands together for Jesus. We have souls coming into the kingdom. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And if you have said this prayer with me, we want you to text the word, Yes, Jesus. It's one word. You can text it to the number 925-275-1600. Or you can send it as an email to echurch at dominionlife.org. And we'll reach out to you and we'll show you how to walk in the ways of God. Hallelujah. Let's put our hands together for Jesus and give him praise. Father, we give you all the glory in Jesus' mighty name. Come on, clap for Jesus. Make it loud to the king. Hallelujah. We thank God for the word that he has.